I'm Georgianne Thomas. I am an adjunct professor at Clark Atlanta University, and I am, you could consider me a civil rights activist. I'm a mother, Christian, and I love this country. The pain of dealing with racial trauma is a pain that I don't wish on anyone. Unfortunately, as an African-American, I have to live with that pain every day. Racial trauma is something you don't know you have until someone comes along like Dr. Catherine Meeks and the center and says to you, do you know that you are impacted daily by racial trauma? It's, it's the reality. When we say we are woke, do we really understand what that means? To be woke for me is to come to grips with the reality of racial trauma is my daily bread. It's a disturbing experience. I have to wake up. Thank God I wake up. And I have to think about what I'm going to do on that day and where I'm going to go, what route I'm going to take, who I might run into to make sure I get back home. White people, you get up and you're happy every day. You get up and go wherever you want to go, however you want to do it. No thoughts about getting back home. But the trauma of living black. Is something that you could never understand, which is why you're constantly putting things in place to ensure that the trauma exists. My God, what are we going to do, America? Here's a country where I grew up in as a kid, 40s and the 50s, 60s in Atlanta. And I really thought, what a great country. And it still is a great country. But the reality that had to, I had to come to grips with is that I am traumatized every day, some way or another, having money thrown back at me rather than put the money in my hand, moving your kids when I come near, locking your door if you see me. I'm a, and I'm a woman. When I was young and old, it hasn't made any difference. So we have walking while black is something I thought, but it's walking while black, thinking while black, sleeping while black, dreaming while black, praying while black, cooking while black, living while black. Racial trauma is a reality that I wish on no one. But those of us who have to deal with it, I wish for racial healing which is what the Brave Voices is about, is to, you know, help us face reality and then work on healing. I thank Dr. Catherine Meeks all the time for providing a space and a place where you can study the healing. But the healing starts on the other side so that I can be healed. I got to heal you. You kidding me? You need to heal me. You did this. I also, I know I have responsibility for trying to heal myself. But every time I work on healing myself, you put up another barrier that I got to fight. I got to get past that. I got to fight my way through. It also says that trauma deals with physical injury. I gotta fight my way to the, through the next barrier. I'm wounded. My arms are tired, my legs are tired. My head is hurting, I'm exhausted. Racial trauma is real. The first time someone calls you out your name, the first time somebody looks at you differently, all those things we live with every day. And so, Dr. Meeks and the Absalon Jones Center for Racial Healing. I thank you all for continuing to try to get to the healing process. I can't heal you. I'm just going to work on healing myself.